Welcome back to another episode of Smashing That Bass. I got a few words real quick before we get started. Thank all you guys for subscribing that have subscribed lately. Really appreciate it. And thank you to all my subscribers that have been with me for a while. Uh, thanks for the comments and everything. Keeps me going. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. That's awesome. So this video will be the last bait I painted in a few clips from my 2021 first fishing trip up the street um, at a pond near my house. Another thing, I got a really cool blow up in this video of two bass at the same time going after bait fish blowing up on top of the water. This is going to be epic. Thank you guys again. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be painting a shallow water jerk bait from Cedar Run Outdoors. It's pretty wide. Uh, I've never seen a jerk bait this wide. So I'm spraying real light, taking my time. I got a little bit more overspray than I really intended to on the side. One way you can um, fix that is by just taking a little bit of airbrush cleaner and a Q-tip. Just put one drop on it. You don't want to make it real wet because you don't want it to go into the actual paint job that you did on top. But you just take that lightly and just kind of rub away at it. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of like a little, I don't know what you want to call it, like a little space right here in between the eyes and the gill. I'm just gonna kind of lightly spray some of this. I'm not gonna make it as dark as the top. Now for the other side. I think I'm gonna spray along the back too. Kind of, <clears throat> kind of changing the way I'm doing this bait. I know, but I like the way this looks. Let's hit the other side. All right, I'm gonna spray just a little back behind that gill plate there. That's gonna be it. It's a very light coat. I'll do the same thing on the other side here in a minute. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to attempt to paint these, the lips black on this. Alright, here we go with the pearl white. Just a little bit on the tail. All right, so I'm gonna spray the re red iridescent, just a little bit on the back. Clear coat and eyes, and we'll be done. So I don't really have the right eyes for this, so I'm just going to make something work. Um, I'm supposed to have like kind of like a teardrop kind of eye, but as I just 
said, I don't have them. I forgot to order them when I ordered this bait, as you can tell there. I'm just going to throw in a regular 5mm eye. And I think that would be sufficient enough for me. I think it looks just fine. Let's go ahead and clear it. All right, now I'm going to put my second coat of clear coat. I typically just do that on the bottom uh, just for hook rash. You know, the hooks that may be uh, scratching the bottom. Sometimes I'll do the whole bait as I'm doing now. It just depends on how I'm feeling. This one will be in the river. So maybe it's better to do two coats, river slash stream. Probably be bouncing off a bunch of rocks. All right, so there we are, the finished product. Before the hooks go on, we do got a little something right there. It looks like it might be black paint, but it doesn't quite look black, so I don't know exactly what might have got into that paint or on top of that uh, before I cleared it, but. For me, it's good enough. It's been for my own personal use. We got that wicked detail yellow ocho on the top, which I'm really digging. Looks like a good natural color for around me. And then, I don't know if you can really tell, but you saw me do the shoulders. We'll let that translucent. So that's looking real good on both sides. Really digging that. You can see it there. And then we did did the black black lips and then we went ahead did that uh, that pearl bottom not sure if that's really showing up in the camera on the bottom but that, that flash on that side should be showing that nice little flash there you can really see that and then we did the iridescent red on the tail and up here on the right underneath the throat I'm really digging the way this turned out. Um, I really like these translucent type baits. I think they uh, wind up looking pretty good, look a little bit more natural with the translucency in it. As you can see my hand back there behind it. So, really, really digging it. I think that was bass. I can't tell. Yeah, there's bass over there chasing this bait, these bait fish. This is jerk bait. Might be a little too big. These bait fish are small. Might have to try the trout magnet jerk bait oh yeah holy cow did y'all see that there's like a school of bass under there wow all right we got up under there let's see let's sit for a second Oh, there's one. Yep, got him. They're up under that dock for sure. On that custom painted jerk bait, got our first first bass on our first custom jerk bait. We started throwing. Nothing real massive, but looks like this might be a keeper jerk bait color that I painted. Sweet. So I was finding my bass underneath all the bridges slash kind of next to them. They were feeding on the bait fish, which were the crappie. This fish here bit right where it drops off, right next to the bridge slash under it. He just nails this crankbait. I'm only using six pound line. That's just kind of the rod I had with me for that little light crankbait. Uh, crankbait's not real heavy. Uh, but he's running as you can see he pulled some pulled out some good drag and kind of kind of tired out real quick 
Uh, he's a much better fish than the first one. I only caught two today. Um, I did see quite a few bass underneath this bridge previously. Um, they just weren't willing to commit. It didn't seem like. I threw a couple different style jerk baits. Um, I threw a couple uh, different style crank baits. Um, I did try finesse. They seem like didn't they didn't even want the finesse worm. So I just kind of kind of gave up for the day. I was out pretty much all day and all evening with two fish, but you know sometimes that's just the way it goes.